Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, so today we're gonna be doing a really, really fun look. It's actually um, Friends inspired. I love Friends, I love that show. I actually, I'm admin. Words are always tough for me. The admin, a um, super, friends of, super fans of Friends group. And um, yeah, it's just made a big impact on my life. I really, I really love my team that I work with there. Um, we're all kind of going through some hard times right now, so show us some love. But, um, so yeah, let's get right into it today. I'm actually going to be doing my eyebrows on camera and my concealer. Um, so again, it's that uh, CoverGirl True Naked Nudes palette. One where I hit pan. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of this one. Like, I really don't know what I'm going to do. Because it's what I've used on my eyebrows for like a year and a half. And again, for today, it's the same concealer as last time. It's the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish in the shade Fair Beige. And the way I have been doing this, and I think I showed you guys this before, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to show you again. So I take the applicator and the tube in one hand, and then I take my little concealer brush and just get some product on there. And then I put it all back. And now I'm ready to carve out my eyebrows and put concealer on my eyes. And then buff it out with a fluffy brush. And now we're ready to get into the eyeshadow and I'm really excited for this look. So it's gonna be, um, let me see. It's gonna be, be blue on the inner corner, yellow on the in the center, and then red out on the outer corner. Okay, we're gonna kind of blend it up so that it blends really nicely into the concealer and whatever. But right now it's just gonna be kind of heavy. <laughs> we're gonna really pack it on there. Oh, and I am going into, see if I can pick it up, my new MAC eyeshadow palette. Um, and the blue that I'm using, it's all the magnetic one, but the blue that I'm using is Triennial, I believe it's called. And then the yellow that I'm using out of this palette as well. Oh my goodness. Is Chrome Yellow. And then the red that I'll be using um, is out of my Sephora box palette because I actually didn't get a red on here. I bought a really dark and bright pink, but not a red. So we'll see what we do. Um, so yeah, first it's blue. It's a very bright blue. It's kind of a shimmer, but not too much. And just kind of sweeping it into the inner corner and out over here. And I'm really gonna pack it on today. And as soon as you get it as the shade that you like it or like the blend out that you want up toward the top, we're gonna blend the, the other one later, like the linear. But as soon as you get it to the blend up to the top that you want, you're just gonna switch over to yellow. It's really simple. And now we're, oh, and by the way, for the brush today, I use my small bullet brush. It's Shamey number 17. And for the yellow, I'm going to be going into my old Faithful. It's the Simply Me Beauty brush. It's just an eyeshadow brush, regular eyeshadow brush. And again, packing it on there because yellow is rough. And again, just blending upwards. You see that? I'm going to go back into blue and just one little tap. And then I'm gonna blend it into the yellow. It's so pretty so far, I love it. Oh my goodness. And now onto red. So um, I am taking my Shamey number 23, it's the larger bullet brush. And I'm just going to be going into a red on the Sephora box palette. It doesn't really matter which red. They're all quite dark. And I would like, I would prefer a more like blood red, if that makes sense. Um, 
but I don't have it. So I'm wondering if I should just use the pink and just layer it on a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So for the pink shade that I'm using, it's again in my MAC palette. It is, it's called Passionate. And it's one of those little magnetic ones that they just stick to the little box. Um, anyway, so yeah, shading number 23 into the pink and I'm gonna really, really pack it on so that it looks red. Okay, and now we're gonna take, where did it go? My fluffy brush and just blend it upward. I'm not gonna get into the colors up right there <laughs> um just so that it really blends into the concealer gives me a nice like just subtle blend if that makes sense i'm going to take a elf eyeliner brush just got a flat head and i'm going to go into black and i'm basically just going to smoke out the lash line and I'm not going to be doing a wing today again. I really need to show you guys how I do wings. But it just is so much work. I'm going into... So I'm using two highlighters today. And the first one is the Chocolate Elixir Glow by I Heart Revolution. Um, and it's the white shade with a little bit of pink in it. And just with a little fan brush. And just like this. You can't fully see it. And that's what I hate about this one. Like you can see it in person 100%, but on camera, maybe it's just my lighting. Oh, I know why. Oh my goodness. We don't have my ring light on. Ah, so sorry you guys. Now you can see it. I was wondering why it was so fucking dark in here. Oh my goodness. And next, for the second highlighter, I am going into my MAC palette, and I got one of their cream color bases. It is called Luna, because it's just, it's just white. I'm just kind of sweeping it across right there. See? Beautiful highlight. Loving it. And now I'm going to do the other eye off camera. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, and now lashes, and it's the Kiss in the style number 11. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just so obsessed with these lashes right now. Okay. <clears throat> now we're going to go with the e.l.f. Uh, Poreless Face Primer. I always look so white after that stuff. I mean, I am white. I mean, you know. And for foundation, again, it's the e.l.f. Um, Flawless Satin Foundation just on my dry beauty blender. Now we're gonna go into contour. It is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish in the shade Tan Walnut. And I just like to do like my cheeks cause I like to go for a little bit more of a natural look personally. So I do right there, right there. And then I blend it at the bottom of my disgusting beauty blender. Go up here like on the forehead. And again, the bottom of my beauty blender. The reason why I do it in like portions is because I find it dries if I don't, and then it's like hard to blend out. And now concealer. See, I really don't put very much um, contour on. Not contour, but the, yeah, I guess contour. <laughs> And now we're gonna do um, the under eyes, like not like the lash line and stuff. Um, so I'm mostly gonna be doing, I'm considering just doing yellow. Do you think that would look good? I don't know. We'll do, no, we'll do the full colors underneath. Highlight. I love highlight. So first we're gonna put some down here. And now main highlight. And big fan brush, it's shiny number 32. As always, last but not least, lips. 
So today I'm going to be using the Simply Me Beauty. Um, let's see what color it is. It's called Rouge. It's from the gas station. Okay, so that completes the tutorial. I want to thank you so much for tuning in as always. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.